Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Dragon Age Origins and we are in the town of Redcliffe doing some searching, looking around here. So this must be the militia. Yes, I think it was. This was the... I think this is the Channery. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, we can go back in there because we need to get the blessings from the mother. Uh, let's go on to get in front of you. Come on. I've already spoke to everyone here. Oh, did I miss that book before? Yes, I did. There's Catherine. Well, here's a name we didn't see before. Jetta. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Oh, that's that letter. Yes. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Your husband and son are both dead. I... I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. Make his blessings upon you. And I didn't find there was something else to that, so it didn't update the quest. Um, there was something I couldn't find that I was supposed to give to her when I was in the woods. So, yeah, unfortunately, uh, not him. We need to talk to the mother, and I believe she was over here. Yeah, period. She is Mother Hannah. What is it you need, child? Um, Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures. A shield only the Maker can provide and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Um, but if they think it helps them, they'll simply have to do it. But if he thinks it helps them... I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Wow. Okay, quest updated. Um, reason you did not have to go back to Sir Perth. Hmm. Just because they wanted to make her forgiveness must be earned and not, de not demanded. She also says that Sir Pertha doesn't seem to be able to grasp this concept and is convinced she is withholding protection. Wow. So we're going to be starting to fight here. Because <laughs> that's what it almost sounds like. Oh, yeah. So... Excuse me, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and, and pause while I go back up to him and give him the bad news. All right, so we're back up here to Sir Perth. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Um, so you said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Hmm. Mother Hannah does not believe she can help you. I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The Maker will not help us. Thank you for your efforts. We shall fight on, nevertheless. Um, what is your status? I think, okay, we're already done all As that. As English Grey Warden, Maker watch over you. Quest updated. So now to talk to Murdoch. So I will pause again while we go down this long-ass hill. 
Okay, down one hill and up another. I figured I might as well come here. I think this is Catherine's house. I believe it is. Um, I figured it was right across from where I was coming down at, so... Oh, no, it's the tavern. Okay. I was just going in the tavern then. Okay, so I'm playing chess. Look at how big those bottles are. I noticed that before when we were in that other tavern. Um, there are people back there. Can't talk to them. That's mighty kind of you to help us. We thought nobody would come to our aid. Well, you're kind of drunk, you know. Can we go in here? I can. Anything in here I can pinch? Uh, I don't see anything. Seems odd. Okay. Let's just get out from behind the bar. Um, oh, who's Burbeck? Not looking for company. He's an elf. Shouldn't you be with the militia? Strange seeing a fellow elf here. We have nothing in common. You're Dalish. Oh my god, I don't like you. What does that mean? I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. Wow, you're not very nice. Mm-mm. I said I'm not looking for company. I don't care. Um, shouldn't you be with the militia? Why? I don't live here. Then why are you here? Then what are you doing here? Just waiting until I can leave again. Hmm. Who are you? I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. Sure. Well, let's talk to Bella. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Mm, what do you know about this Alp in the Not corner? much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. Hmm, so how's business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Um... You don't care for Lloyd, I take it. He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. Uh, why don't you leave? And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. That's very true. I could... Uh, leave it... Uh, you could leave if you... If you had some help. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? How about not end up... At another tavern? Mm, nothing at all. I'd be... There's nothing wrong with working in a tavern. I worked as a bartender for many years, so... There's nothing wrong with working in a tavern. It's just you do have to put up with crappy men sometimes. Drunk, crappy men. Uh, nothing at all. I'd be glad to help. That's very kind of you. I... I don't know what to say. Um... Shouldn't you be at the chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's good to hear. I didn't know that. I should go. Bye. Keep safe. And so you icky old man. What is graffiti? Where is this graffiti at? Let's get started. 
Okay, so we have graffiti. Um, don't eat the cheese. Crashed into the bar at Red Cliffs Tavern. Okay, um, let's talk to Lloyd. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Mm. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Earl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty, don't it? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Hmm. Who are you anyway? Name's Lloyd. We don't get many elves out here. You're a runaway from the city. I'm a Dalish, if you must know. That's so. I've heard about them. Never seen one in my entire life, though. Something else I can get for you? Um, answer a few questions. Fine. Make them quick. Shouldn't you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Yeah, you're a coward. Mm, then be a coward if that's what you want. Either die fighting the militia or die now. Your choice. Oh my god. Um, I don't like you. Well, <coughs> yes. I suppose that is what I want. Hmm. Mm, what do you know about what's happened here? Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. After a few days, I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I say we just wait for help to come. Hmm. Why are you still open? I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. <laughs> the second I'm in the Chantry, Murdoch and his men will be here drinking all my ale. Hmm. What do you know about what's happened here? Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. Hmm. Just After going a few days, circles. I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. Okay. I say we just wait for help to come. Um, just tell us something else. Something else I can get for you? Let's see what right. you have. I've got some supplies too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Alrighty. Don't have much, do you? I don't think I have much to sell either. Um. Oh, I don't think he had gloves. I shouldn't have sold that. My back. Um. Oh, whatever. Um, I don't think you have much of anything, do you? No, just the gloves. Um, you do have some health poultices, though, but I'm kind of running low on funds. L. I give that as a gift. You can do that. Hmm. I have nine of these. Well, oh, did I do, did I do it wrong? Um, okay, so he didn't have anything of consequence there. Let's see. Will he talk to to us now that we? Um, I said I'm not looking for company. Okay, I hear you're Burbeck. What? How did you know that? 
Uh, well, that's my name. Why? You seem awfully nervous. Why is that? You said you were waiting for your brother. My what? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. Hmm. Then why are you helping? Why aren't you helping to fight? I was told I didn't have to. I stay in the Chantry at night and I come here to to be alone, that's all. Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to uh, just leave me alone. Hmm. What do you mean? What were you told to do? I'm not going anywhere. Start talking. About what? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. And how do you know I'm a Grey Warden? I just, uh, overheard it, that's all. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. Hmm. Stop right there. Answer my questions or else. This will be easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. I don't want trouble. I... I'm going to the Chantry now. Just leave me alone. Hmm. Stop right there. Answer my questions or else. All right, all right. I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck. Same as you. I swear. Hmm. Who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Hmm. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. How do I know you're telling the truth? So you know how this happened? Tell me now. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Yeah, they're the ones who made him sick. Mm-hmm. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Hmm. I think you should help defend Red Redcliffe tonight. Fitting. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Well, I got his approval on that. Cool. Stan's approval went up by two. Item received. Um. Letter. A letter found in Burbeck's possession. Burbeck's letter. We need your eyes and ears in Redcliffe. Stay in the village. Keep your head down and watch the castle. Report any changes and you'll be well paid. Hmm. Interesting indeed. So I'm glad I went back to him. And I need to find my way out. There's the door. Let's go ahead and save since this game likes to crash too much. All right, so I don't think we've been down here looking around for anything. That's the world map up there, I believe. Yes, it is, okay. I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah, we've already been over there. Okay, so all that's really left is we've been in the tavern, been in the, okay, we need to visit the smithy and we've been in the chantry, Catherine's home and Murdoch. So let's go over to the smithy. And it should be over here. 
Mm -hmm. Let's do this first while we're here. Okay. And we got a chest back here with Ash Warrior Axe. Yeah, when I enchanted um, my weapons, it only saw one weapon that could be enchanted. So I think they have to be a special type of weapon to be enchanted, though that was never brought up. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Um, who are you? I, I haven't taken anything at all. You're mistaken. I you're not Murdoch. Who are you and what are you doing at my door? Um, I'd prefer not to speak to the door. Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. Hmm. Um, please, I just want to talk to you. Mm. All right, all right. So I don't know why you're so determined. Yeah, I'll get the locks. Okay. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so I'll let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Corinne, a Grey, a grey Warden helping Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny, you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, yeah. <laughs> my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? So, uh, um, so does a whelp sound different? Um, uh, pew, smells like you're brewing here. Um, so why have you locked yourself in this smithy? My girl, Valena. It's one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone! So you intend to drink yourself to death? Hmm. You can't send anyone. That's insane. Or you could work to help save her. I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Well, I think you can save yourself. Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I wonder if she's dead. It would be better than going to my grave wondering. That's true. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. <laughs> I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Mm, what's stopping me from lying to you? Yeah. Nothing besides your conscience. You got one of them. Mm, last time I checked. Then I'll take what I can get and leave the rest to the Maker's Grace. Mm, but no one can get into the castle right now. Eventually, they want to seek out the Arl and our lesser. And when they do, you go in and bring my Velena to me. Yep, I promise. I'll find I'll her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Is this a promise we will not keep? Let's hope not. What's this? I said nothing to you, human. And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. 
I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay, so disapproval. Yep, quest updated. Lost in the castle. Yeah, they don't like, um... Too bad, guys. Too bad. Okay, so let's see I must here. admit, it feels good to be up and doing something, finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh... What, uh, what do you know about what's going on? You mean why are these creatures attacking the village? Obviously something wicked corrupts the castle. My daughter used to tell me the Arlesa was up to something, hiding things from her husband. Oh, I boy. told Valena she was imagining things. But maybe the Arlesa was involved in something. Blood magic, maybe. Most likely. What else did your daughter say? She thought the Arlesa was having an affair with some tutor she hired for the boy, Connor. I never listened much to her talk about it, though I wish now I had. Is that it doesn't what... matter anyway. She's lost to me, and I can't do anything about her warnings now. So, that note I found, the lover's letter? Hmm, I wonder if it was that. Hmm. What do you know about this Arliss? Only that she's an Orlesian girl from beyond the Western Mountains. Far too young for our Arl. That's what I say. And too proud and headstrong from the sounds of it. You think the Arliss made um, Ian sick? I'd never make such accusations. But maybe if she was using foul magic, then maybe she just did it that. Have you told anyone about this? Of course not. And who would I tell? And what good would it do now, eh? I just wish I'd paid more heed to my girl. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Um... Let's talk about your daughter. You promised you'd look for her in the castle once the night is over. I'll hold you to that. Let's talk business. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Let's see what you got. Um... Yeah, you're right. You don't have much, do you? Mm-mm. Um, yeah, and I don't have any money. I don't have any money, honey. Um... No potions, none of that. Large. What are these used for in the right hands? Unassuming metal shards can be used to melee, to make deadly traps. Oh, okay. All right, we're done with that. Uh, we can't go anywhere else in here, can we? And there was nothing Nothing to... Oh, there's a crate over here. I think uh, I already got into it. I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. Hidden trap door. Right click. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Mmm... Couldn't the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Okay. I'm trying to get my mouse to go over it. Come on, come on. Geez, you gotta get it just, just, there we go. So, an axe, a dagger, leather gloves, small shield. Do I, do I want to take it all, really? I mean, well, yeah, I will, because I can sell it. <laughs> Okay, so there's only 
Catherine's house in Murdoch. Where is Catherine's house at? Her house is right there. So let's go past Murdoch down to the house. Oh my god, okay. Oh, there's Burbeck. All right, that must be her house. Um, can we talk to me now? I can't believe I'm going to fight. That's <laughs> what I get for mixing myself up in all this. All right, so this is Catherine's house over here. Oh, there's a door up there. What is that? That's, that's Catherine's house. This was the Chantry. Okay. I think. I think that's what that is. Oh. Got somebody else's house down here. Here's the shant chantry. Oh, general store. I'm opening up more of the place. Okay. Um. So yeah. Can't. That won't open. The death road. How do we get to it? It's on the other side. Hmm. Oh, he can't go anywhere there. Alrighty, back around. Oh, he won't let you do that. Alright. This way, this way. See, there's a door up there. I gotta go this way to get to it? I don't think I do. There's several doors. Alright, there's a door there. This is a little confusing. Can't get in there. On it. The door is locked and looks as if it has been recently repaired. Mm, lock picking. Pick the lock on the door. Um, knock on the door. Mm, pick the lock. break open the lock. How about no one answers? Okay. I suppose I should have Wonderful. stayed. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. I apologize. I don't mean any harm. What girl were we like? Unless you'd like to stop us. I don't mean Apology any harm. Accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. What are you doing? Sh shut up in here. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. You'll die in here just as easily as you would out there. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Mm, either die here? Mm, pst, uh, can I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. How about gold? No, nope. Um, what about a little more personal reward? Mm, I'll put in a good word for you with Tegan or the Arl. Hmm. I don't have any gold. What about a little more personal reward? Mm. It's tempting. 
but a night with you isn't worth risking my neck for Murdoch and those idiots. That's oh my god. Sure. I was not it. I was not doing that. <laughs> oh my god, I did not realize that's what I was offering. Oh, that's just too funny. Uh no. Mm, I'll put in a good word for you. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Hmm. Mm, you go and I don't cut off your head. How about that? I've had enough of you strutting around like you own the place. Come on, boys. This ends now. Yep, I kind of figured this was going to happen. And how many are there? It should only be three. All right, you do your mind blast. Me, I'm gonna come up behind you and do my pull the build. You are gonna come up here. Now that you have this, um, shield bash on him, and you, can do precise striking on him. Okay. Let's get back in here where I can see. Oh, really? Okay. You're gonna do, already did that. You're gonna do dual striking. Do, do I only have one weapon for some reason? It looks like I only had one weapon. Okay. Now you can we do the s nope, I'm sorry, you. Um I've got the healing now. I don't know how that works. None of us really need it. Oh, she doesn't get her frost flames. Um, vulnerability, disorient. You resisted. Let's heal um, Alistair. Okay. All right. On your left. Just got this one over here. All right, come on. That was interesting. What has he got on him? He's got gold. Once he's got some money, he's got a a sword, main hand. Mm. Thug. Let's get started. That's our health potion. Can we get in there? Anything in here? Nope. Come on, I'm trying to get it out of here. Uh, 
best way out. Oh, oh, that chest isn't lit up, really? Well, you think something would have been. You said they had provisions. Why is there a fire there? Who has a fire on them? What do you, what do you got a fire on you for? Hmm. I don't know. But uh, let's go. Okay, so let's look at me because for some reason I only had. No, I got Enchanted Dagger and the Thorn and the... Okay, yeah, so I don't get it. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at this one for... Is this better than what he has? It's a main hand, 15 strength, 840, uh, 240. Messy kills. I don't know what that means. But his has been... Yeah, it's the same. So how about Stan? <clears throat> you have a two-handed. Uh, yours does 13. Nah, uh, you get more damage out of yours. Okay. Interesting. I gotta find my way out of this stupid thing. <laughs> okay, I need to get over here to the general store and then Catherine's home is down there. The general store, is this all area I can get into? It looks like it is. So I think that's the general store over here. Is that what it's saying? Yep. Can I get over here? Ah, oops. All right, deep mushroom. Lake, no swimming. Legends of Lake Kellenden, whatever. The waters of Lake Kalinhad are steeped in legends. The Avar people say that it was once the site of Belenus, the mountain which stood at the center of the world from which Korth, the mountain father, surveyed the earth and sky, but it was destroyed in the battle between Korth and the serpent, whatever, leaving only a vast crater behind. When the lady of the skies saw that, Bellinus was gone, she wept, and her tears filled the crater, making the lake. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Wooden crate. There's a wooden crate up there. Come on. Can I not get up here? There it is. As you wish. All right, let's her injury kit. This is where that death rut was at that I was trying to find before chicken houses. Yep, exactly that's where it's at. Okay. So all we have left is the general store. I'm clicking. Come on.
for some reason, my, um, the, the things just aren't showing. Okay, so the general store, I have to go around this way. Come on, I'm clicking, come on. All right, this should be the general store. Yes. All right, we've got a barrel right off the bat. There is a lamp oil in these. Quest updated. Village under siege. Talk to Murdoch. Um, find a use for the barrels of oil. You notice some barrels of oil in the general store. Perhaps someone could use them to defend Redcliffe. Hmm. There's a chest over here. Insufficient skills, really. Oh, there's a note. I didn't see that. A tattered shopping list. Uh, let's see. Sugar, wheat flour, filet, whatever, ginger for Grandpa, spatulas, ink, cooler. Also remember to ask if more beeswax will be available soon. A note on crumpled paper. Hmm. There's no way to get behind anything here. I can't get back there. Okay. But we know where the oil's at. As you wish. All right. So I need to get out of here. Talk to Murdoch. All right. Which way do I do to get that? Um, oh, we've got to go to Catherine's house, which is right there. Um... This way. Yes. Okay. And I, we're almost at 50 minutes, so I think I'm going to leave that until um, next episode. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.